Let's start things off. We're gonna start our last fixture right here. We're just gonna zoom in, we're gonna right click, we're gonna draw a pipe. Now there's two pipe connectors on top of each other, so it's gonna ask us which one we want. We want the sanitary. We're gonna make sure that we're drawing with PVC pipe right here. And we're gonna go to the middle point right there, and we're just gonna go down to about right there for now. Now, I want this uh, fitting to be a cross type fitting so to do that I have to start making it a T and I'm going to use this plus button right here and Revit's going to use this T and this is actually a combination uh, Y fitting which is what we need for horizontal drainage piping so that's one thing is you're going to need to know which fittings are correct to use so I'm going to right click this point right here we're going to draw a pipe and I'm just going to draw the pipe up to about a point right here and go right into the wall right there and that's going to be my clean out and we can make a clean out real quick or cap this by just selecting the piece of pipe and we can hit this cap open ends button and it'll create a cap right there now i'm actually going to make the uh, turn the thick lines command on so you guys can see this a little better now that i have this little combination fitting i can click on it and i can click this plus button and it'll create a double type fitting so if i click on this you can see it's called a Y combination with eighth bend double. And from that fitting, I can right click on this piece, draw a pipe, and we can draw it right into this water closet, just like that. So let's continue down. I'm gonna extend my pipe a little further. So we're gonna extend it down to maybe way down here, hit escape. And the next thing I can use is I can use the um, connect into command and all I have to do is select my water closet right here click connect into and then hit sanitary right there and we can just select our piece of pipe and Revit will automatically draw that fitting which was the same one here and now that we have that fitting again we can just click on it hit the plus button and again we'll just draw from this fitting to our water closet just like that now we can also draw from our pipe to our fixture by right clicking hitting create similar and you can see as we scroll through this pipe it'll snap to where our connector is so we can automatically know we're in the right spot so we can just go right to that and we got to make sure it's the sanitary and everything's looking really good so so far we've drawn everything correctly let me turn off my thick lines and you'll see Revit's putting in these double fittings and also this combination um, Y fitting and since it's horizontal drainage this is helping the um, sanitary drainage get directed towards this piece of pipe so let's continue on let's um, connect our lavatories I'm just gonna draw drag that uh, sanitary pipe down a little bit just like that and for our urinals right here connect into is gonna be our best friend because what it's gonna do is it's gonna drop our piece of pipe and then it's gonna connect into this branch right here um, without us having to really do anything so just click on this urinal fixture click connect into click our sanitary and we'll click our piece of pipe right there and you can see Revit drops it and makes that nice T uh, Y combination fitting let's do the same thing over here we'll just select our fixture and we can also it's not too hard to draw from the branch piping we'll right click on that and create similar and like we said before Revit will automatically snap to it and we can easily just draw the piping like that now you're going to see there's going to be a problem there. So connect into is obviously doing a little better job of this. I just realized I accidentally connected into the top of the fixture on accident. So let's do this again, create similar right here. And this is actually this point right here, right there is actually the bottom. So you just have to make sure that you are connecting to the right um, connector pieces. And you can see that this um, drain, since we started from our fixture or our branch piping, it made it a little too big. So to reduce that, we could just select all of these right here and go up to our diameter and just make that two inch. And Revit will automatically resize that fitting so everything works. So since our lavatories or urinals don't have P-traps, we can quickly add those in by selecting them right here and we'll go to our properties right here and we can hit the drop down and you're going to see a custom MEP guide P trap right here. So I'm going to click on that and that will automatically create these P traps. Now the MEP guide P trap is pretty cool because it actually shows the P trap correctly. And I created that and you can check that out on my website and I'll uh, 
I'll give you guys a template file for all of these fittings um, on my website, mepguide.com. So let's continue drawing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my thick lines again so you guys can see all this stuff. And for this, we're going to continue to Actually, what I'm gonna do for this situation, like I showed in the beginning of the video, is I'm gonna drop my sanitary below the floor here and route it so we can pick up our floor drains. So for the lavatories, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect them. Now we can also connect things in a 3D view. So if we just click into our 3D view right here, I can just click this little draw pipe button right here, create pipe. And when we're drawing in a 3D view, we can't draw straight up and down. We actually have to set our elevation right here. Now I'm gonna show you guys a pretty ninja trick. So if you want to drop it down to say one foot six, I can do one space six, and that's actually one foot six. And you don't have to enter in those little foot and inch markers. Now another cool thing, so I'm gonna hit apply, and Revit did drop that piece of pipe down as you can see, just like that. Now another cool thing, I'm gonna hit control Z. I'm gonna show you another cool way. If I select this lavatory and click this create pipe button, if I want to drop it down to let's say 18 inches, all I have to do is hit zero space 18 and that will also work. It'll be one foot six because it's 18 inches. Now that I'm at 18 inches, I can just go straight down. And if I, I can also draw in 3D just like this and if I hold my shift button, it'll make sure that all of my lines or pipe that I draw are exactly 90 degrees so that's really cool and so when I go to this point over here under this lavatory you're gonna see that Revit highlights the lavatory that it wants to connect into and it's gonna automatically connect into that one when I click and that was pretty cool let's turn off our thick lines and you can see Revit did automatically connect that because it just figured out that that's what I wanted to do so that's really cool so let's try to do this again in 3D. So there's another method we can use and that's the automatic routing commands. So if I click on both of my lavatories right here, I can create a piping system up here. If I click this button and it's gonna ask me what I wanna name it, Sanitary 3 is totally fine for now. It's gonna create this sanitary system with this box around it right here. And what I can do now is I can click this generate layout button. And what we can do is go to settings and all we have to do is make sure that our settings are correct so Revit knows how to draw this pipe. Now, I want my pipe to offset 18 inches. So again, let's just do one foot six, one space six, hit okay. And then again, we'll do zero space 18 inches, which is also one foot six. We're gonna click okay. And now Revit shows a solution, one of the many solutions it's gonna come up with. So all we have to do is go over here to this next solution button and click it. And you'll see that Revit does figure out what the solution is that we wanna draw. So I'm gonna hit finish layout. And again, Revit automatically connects all of our piping and routes everything correctly. So you can do things a lot of different ways in Revit. You just have to you know, experiment with all the different um, ways to do things. Now I'm gonna continue drawing in this 3D view. So what I can do is I can click on this piece of pipe and I know I want a vent to come up from that and also my sanitary to go down. So I can just right click, create similar, and I can select the midpoint right here. And then I can just go ahead and drop this piece of pipe. So let's drop it down to maybe negative one feet, hit enter, and just hit apply. And Revit has dropped my pipe down. Now this is not the right fitting I wanna use, but that's okay for now. We're gonna click on it. Again, we're gonna make that cross by hitting that plus button. And Revit's going to use this combination fitting again. Now this is actually not a legal fitting. Um, basically, when we change these to P-traps, so let me do this real quick. And since these are my only elbows in the view, I can right click and go to select all instances visible in view. And now it selects all of my elbows. I just wanted to zoom out to make sure. And I can just quickly switch those to P-traps. And you'll see in this view right here, all of my P-traps are showing correctly. So now we have this fitting. And the reason why it's not okay is because the trap weir right here, the connection at this point is actually lower than that veer. Weir. So when water goes through this piece of pipe, there's a chance for some siphoning effects and it might pull the water out of that trap and obviously it wouldn't be good anymore if there was no water in this trap. So what we have to do is we have to change this fitting to a regular sanitary tee. So I'm gonna go to my drop down and just change it to a double sanitary tee. And that is the correct fitting to use. 
So we're gonna click on that fitting and I'm just going to right click on this grip button, click draw pipe, and we're just going to bring it up to maybe five feet. Just click five in here. And maybe I'll start to draw it this way. I'm gonna hold shift to make sure it's drawing it straight. And that looks pretty good. Now we need to make sure that this piece is um, centered to this piece right here so that when we drop our vent down um, in this area right here, that it connects correctly. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna move this actually temporarily. Just gonna hit left on my keyboard. And now I'm just gonna align these pieces of pipe. So we use our align button by going right here to align. And we wanna go to this point and we gotta to wanna to go move this piece of pipe. So now we're all set. And what we can do is we can just draw our pipe. So I can select it in my 3D view. I'm gonna turn on thick lines for you guys. So once we select it, we can go back into our floor plan view and we can just drag our piece right here all the way down to maybe this point right there. And what we have to do now is we have to connect it into this piece down here. So if I right click on this, draw a pipe, I'm gonna go down to, to about three feet. Hit enter and just hit apply. And now I can use my trim command right here, trim extend, and I can click on this piece and then this piece. And Revit will connect these. Now, I don't really wanna use this fitting right here. I can just go to my drop down, and I'm gonna use this T reducing fitting. And that one looks a little better. So this is my vent piece right here. And for some reason, this got disconnected. Let's just trim those back together by hitting TR. And everything's looking great. Now, I want to connect this vent piece into this piece right here. So I know if I go in a floor plan view, I can do that pretty easily. So let's go to our floor plan right here. Let's actually delete this piece right now, even though I just connected it. And that's this piece right here. I'm gonna turn on my thick lines again for you guys. And we'll just go ahead and drag that piece to this point right here. And Revit went ahead and made that connection right here. Now I'm gonna go up to this piece right here, and I'm gonna use my trim extend command and click this piece and then this piece. And that looks good. And if we want, we could change the direction of this fitting. Um, to whatever direction we want to make sure that our water is flowing down. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. And again, we can click on our little T fitting right here, hit the plus button, and we want to draw some pipe from this point. And we can actually drop this to negative one feet. Hit apply. And obviously our water is not gonna drain very well with this fitting this way. So let's go ahead and flip this using the flip button right here. And again, we need to change this fitting to a double T, just like that. So everything's looking great. Let's go ahead and orbit around a little bit. And I'm just gonna click on this piece right here. And we're gonna drop this down below the floor. So we're gonna draw a pipe and I'm gonna drop it down to negative two feet. And I'm gonna stay in my 3D view and I'm gonna hold shift and we're just gonna drag it out to a point about right here, just like that. And now I can use trim and extend to just trim those pieces into them. So let's use trim and extend right here and let's use it again. And we could keep these piece or these types of fittings if we wanted to, but I'm actually going to make them sanitary reducing tees like we did last time. So they look a little cleaner and we save a little bit of money. So that looks pretty good. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to draw our floor drains. And those are our floor drains right there. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We need to think about it. We need to make sure that we have enough space between this piece or this fitting right here and our um, piece of pipe. So it doesn't look like we're gonna have enough because it looks like this piece is gonna be and these fittings are gonna be in our way. So let's go ahead and draw some pipe and see where we're at. I can just draw some pipe from my floor plan view if I want. So I'm going to click on that draw pipe button. We're going to drop it down to negative two feet first. And I'm just going to go this way so we can kind of measure out where we're at. Got to hit escape. And you can see that if I just kept going, it's going to draw it right into that elbow fitting. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to probably have to do is we're going to have to angle this piece and maybe uh, use a Y fitting into this piece right here. So the easiest way to get this Y fitting is to actually just pull it into this uh, piece right here. So I'm gonna actually go to my systems tab and we're gonna use a pipe fitting. And you can see my little double Y fittings already popping up. And when I hover into this pipe, 
you'll see it gives me the option to just add it to it. So I'm gonna add it right to the center about right here. And that looks really good. And we can just click on the piece, make sure it's the right type. And it's my 45 degree double. And I could make this a 45 double reducing. And I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit escape here. And I can make sure that these pieces right here are actually only two inches to be the same as my drain. So if I go to my nominal radius three, I can make that one inch and that way it reduces the fitting parts on this side and now I can um, go into my drain. So let's do that. So let's go from this piece uh, fitting right here. Zoom in, we're gonna right click. We're gonna draw some pipe. I'm gonna turn on my thick lines for you guys. Draw pipe and we're gonna just go 45 degrees to about a point right there. Now that I have this line already drawn, I can just use my trim extend by hitting TR and we're gonna click a point right here and we're gonna click a point right here and Revit's gonna automatically route that piece of pipe. Now, since I already have all this piping uh, situated over here, I can save some time by using the mirror command. So I'm gonna actually delete my drain over here and I'm just gonna tab into all of these pieces right here. And now I'm gonna use my mirror pick an axis. I'm just gonna pick an axis right here and we're just going to zoom into this piece right here and we're just gonna drag our pipe and connect it right into that, just like that. Let's turn on our thin lines. And as you can see, everything looks pretty darn good. And everything's been connected. And I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. I know it went pretty fast and I showed about pretty much every routing technique there is. Um, but if you guys wanna learn more, I will be coming out with some uh, courses on mepguy.com in the near future. I hope to have a plumbing 101 course and also an advanced modeling course. Also, if you guys want access to this MEP guy Revit project that I have right here, um, what I do is in every project, I just tab into all of these pieces right here. I copy them to the clipboard. And what you can do is you can just paste them into any project that you have by hitting Control V or going up to modify and hitting this paste button. And I just paste them into any of my projects and that way all of the fittings in this piece of pipe that are right here get loaded into this project so i know that i have all the fittings that i need for all of my projects and i can load them into any project that i want so i'll have this mep guy fittings rvt file for you guys to download at mepguy.com now if you liked this video make sure to check out the next video where i do a complete tutorial on how to route sloped piping for sanitary drainage see you guys later